Hey guys, so today we have four quick and easy air fryer recipes. These are great if you are on any weight loss journey. If you are following something well, they are low in sin. If you are calorie counting, they are low in calories. We also have two sweet and two savory options, so we have something for everyone. We are gonna be using the Kasori Turbo Blaze Air Fryer today. This is the six liter air fryer. Kasori has kindly gifted me this air fryer. It is not a paid collaboration, so as always, the reviews are going to be honest and what I think whether it is worth buying or not. So as a busy mom, convenience is key for me and this air fryer just ticks all those boxes. It's compact, it's got five different functions on it, so it is an absolute staple in my kitchen. It also comes with two years warranty, a recipe book and also the instructions for the air fryer. So the first recipe we are going with today is a new one for me and it is churros. So we are having churros for breakfast. So it is a low calorie, low sin. I put the calories and the sins on the screen for you. It's so quick and easy, five minutes in the air fryer, off you go and you have a absolutely delicious sweet breakfast, sweet pudding, whatever you want to do it. Okay guys, so this is the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need one of your crumpets cut up into little bits, one egg here, and then here, you have one tablespoon of sweetener and one tablespoon of cinnamon. You're gonna pop our crumpets into our egg mixture and give this and make sure this is all coated into the egg. And once that's fully coated, as you can see, transfer that into your cinnamon and sugar mixture. And again, you're gonna wanna make sure all of this is coated. It's a jacket potato, but I've always done my jacket potatoes in the oven and something which is going to be quick and easy actually takes nearly two hours. In the air fryer, it takes less than 20 minutes. So I'm going to show you how to do the most perfect jacket potato. Fluffy inside, crispy outside in under 20 minutes. Let's do it. You're going to start by prepping your potatoes. Usual, just pierce a hole in them and then pop them in the microwave for five minutes just to soften them. And then put them in your air fryer. I did it on the mode air fryer, 195 Celsius for 20 minutes and they came out perfect. And I topped it with the classic beans and cheese. So I'm a little bit of a baked oats kind of girl and I find myself a little bit of a professional when it comes to that. I've never done it in the air fryer, I've always done it in the oven. But when I tried this recipe, it made it more like a cake. Because it has the bake um, option on here, it made it fluffy inside, but still crispy on the outside. Absolutely delicious. So this recipe is going to be a vanilla, melt in the middle, chocolate oats. So you wanna start off measuring 40 grams of oats, and then we're going to add one egg, and around about 70 grams of any sort of high protein vanilla yogurt and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Give that a good mix before adding your chocolate spread. And just a heat teaspoon of that chocolate spread. Give it a good mix, make sure you get a little bit with every spoonful. And we are going to pop it into the air fryer on bake mode this time for 10 minutes and it came out delicious. It was so fluffy inside but crispy outside and as you can see we got some nice bits of that melted chocolate in the middle. Last but 
but not least, we are going to do the thing that I've always used my air fryer for, and that is to make the most perfect homemade chips. So we're going to be doing steak and chips, and these chips are done so quickly. They're so crispy, they're so fluffy, they're so delicious. It is just, once you've tried an air fryer doing your chips, you will never go back to the oven. I tell you that for a fact. So I'm going to show you my recipe for my perfect crispy homemade chips and we're going to be having steak with it as well. We have the classic um, homemade chips. So start by just prepping your chips and um, whatever size you like to have them. I like to have them a little bit more chunkier and then parboil them for five minutes. I like to then make sure there's no excess water on them it just makes them more crispier and then add whatever sort of flavors you like i'm just adding some salt pepper and some paprika and then make sure that's all mixed around um, and then we're going to pop these in the air fryer and i did this on air frying mode for around about 10 minutes and checking on them in between. I didn't actually have to shuffle these because it was so big inside, it just covered all the chips. And as you can see, we have the most perfect chips. This dinner was a 10 out of 10. I would highly recommend doing your chips in the air fryer. And we're just popping that gravy on top because, you know, Gravy's just life, isn't it? And just look at that dish. So would I recommend this air fryer? Absolutely. From someone who has gone from a very, very basic air fryer to this, which has so many functions on it, I am completely blown away. It's so compact as well that it actually has now got its own little place in my kitchen. My other air fryer, I used to use it and I used to put it away because it didn't look that nice. This is compact. It's really attractive looking. Um, so yeah, it has now got a place in my kitchen. If you want to grab one of these air fryers, I'm going to pop the link below and all their details. But honestly, it's got a stamp of approval from me. I absolutely love it and I've used it for so many different things already. I think I've had it for about a week and I think I've probably used it every day so far. So yeah, grab yourself one of these. I forgot to mention the best bit and that is that Kasori currently have a great discount on this air fryer. I'll pop a link below. So if you've been thinking about buying an air fryer, now is the time to get it while it's on this special price. I'll pop the link below.